Arsene Wenger knew four weeks ago that his 22-year reign at Arsenal was over when it was made clear to him that he would be asked to leave at the end of the season. The club and close friends have been urging him to accept the inevitable and allow for an appropriate farewell as well as afford Arsenal time to recruit his successor, which is likely to be either Luis Enrique or Joachim Lowe, though Max Allegri, Brendan Rodgers and Leonardo Jargim are also being considered. The past few weeks have been spent ensuring that the news, known only by a few key figures, did not leak out so that Wenger could make the announcement. But the manager would have seen out his contract until 2020 if given the chance to do so and is expected to receive the final year's pay of his deal, which could amount to £10 million. Wenger has made it clear to friends that he expects to work elsewhere next season and prefers to stay involved day to day at his new club, rather than become a director of football. The focus at Arsenal is now on recruiting his replacement and Raul Sanye, the new head of football relations, is taking a lead role meaning his preference for Enrique, with whom he worked at Barcelona, makes the Spaniard the favourite. The logistics of appointing Lowe, popular with Arsenal executives, seem to count against him, with the German national team manager having to defend the World Cup this summer and potentially out of action until July 15, which is just four weeks before the start of the new Premier League season. He also has two more years left on his contract with the German FA. Wenger has cut a beleaguered figure at the club this season as a series of appointments in the last 12 months left him bereft of natural allies. As well as Sun Ye, Chief Scout Sven Mislintat, contracts negotiator Hus Fami and stats guru Jason Rosenfeld are the new power brokers at the club, led by Chief Executive Ivan Gazidis. Their regular meetings at Highbury House in recent weeks have not involved Wenger and were the clearest sign to staff that the manager's time was over. Wenger was aware that at least two board members had been arguing for his removal even last year and the decision of Josh Kroenke, son of owner Stan, to move temporarily to London in January and February and spend his time visiting different departments of the club was also seen as the preparation for the end as he convinced his father, who was responsible for Wenger getting a two-year deal last summer. That change now had to come. But when the change was actually announced by Wenger, there was little of the expected emotion. It was shortly after 9 a.m. on Friday when he called his core staff together for their pre training meeting. Then came the news. Even though many had seen it coming, the confirmation was clearly a considerable shock. There was a stunned silence broken by a typically matter of fact Wenger saying, Right, let's organize today's training. He then left to break the news to his players. Life will go on at Arsenal but it will never quite feel the same again. Already players and staff are adjusting to the new order. While Wenger focuses on an emotionally charged home game with West Ham on Sunday and an enormously important Europa League semi-final with Atletico Madrid on Thursday, which determines whether Arsenal can still qualify for the Champions League, the club's executives are working to appoint his successor. Enrique, who won the treble of Champions League, La Liga and Copa del Rey at Barcelona is a front-runner because Sun Ye has proved enormously influential since his arrival and can vouch for his work at Barcelona. Enrique rejuvenated the Barca squad in 2014-15. The team had looked jaded and somewhat lost under Tata Martino the season before and so the job is not dissimilar to the task at Arsenal. Enrique immediately improved their fitness levels and brought a clear tactical structure based on Barca's passing game which Gazidis has made clear is essential for any new coach. Lowe remains another popular choice. He fits the Germanic culture at the club, with Ms. Lintat now head of recruitment, Primera Soccer, the new academy manager and Mesut Herzl the star player. However, the time may be wrong for Lowe to step back into club management. With his World Cup commitments it would be asking a lot of him to roll straight into such an enormous transition at Arsenal. Though Antonio Conte managed to do so at Chelsea after overseeing Italy's Euro 2016 campaign and subsequently went on to win the Premier League. Enrique, currently on sabbatical, is in pole position as he is ready to start work now. However, Gazidis was insisting on Friday that it was more important to make the right decision rather than a quick decision. As such, Monaco's Jardim, Juventus Allegri, and Celtics Rogers will also be considered. Certainly, change is coming all around at Arsenal. Club owner Stan Kroenke, 70, had been Wenger's guarantee of a job in the past, yet now it is son Josh, 37, who plays an increasingly influential role. Only this month, Kroenke Sports and Entertainment, the company who own Arsenal through their UK arm, announced the promotion of Josh to vice chairman of KSE and KSE UK. Kroenke Jr. serves on the board of governors of the NHL and NBA in the USA. He now also looks like the coming man at Arsenal, where a board of directors, which is due an overhaul, Many believe Josh Kroenke will grow into being club chairman.